Japan welcomes tourists, but it has begun. This is interesting, you know. Foreign tourists visiting Japan will be required to wear masks and spend their entire stay chaperoned by local guides. Chaperoned by local guides. This is insane. <laughs> Is this Japan or North Korea? North, North Korea. Korea. <laughs> Konnichiwa, Jeff Tinagan here. There were a lot of comments and questions on my latest video on Japan's uh, reopening to tourists. And I will try my level best to answer them later. Well, there's a big asterisk on its test tourism. And there's a breaking news that it has other things that we must look into. First is the mask. Well, incoming tourists are required to wear it. Well, it's a normal thing in the world right now, but I think Japan is just too strict on it. Even though some countries are mask free right now, but Japan doesn't take it lightly. Long before the COVID-19 pandemic, like Japanese people already wear masks for some pollen allergies so that you don't pass any airborne diseases. I repeat, that's before this pandemic. Hence, there's no reason that they would take this mask rule lightly, you know. Two, the chaperones or the local guides of the tourists' entire stay. Like, babysitters? <laughs> Guys, this is from entry to departure. Like, seriously? <laughs> Do people without chaperones have greater risks of bringing stronger variants to the country than those with babysitters? Like, I mean, chaperones, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, they, they have their reasons, but you know, if like the tracing app can be better in doing it rather than chaperones if they want to really identify where these tourists are going to and coming from so that they would monitor all the things happening because of this called test tourism, you know. Third, buying insurance that covers COVID-19 related medical expenses. Well, I must agree with this because wherever tourists get sick because of COVID, the government must not break the bank to treat this tourist. They have handled a lot of patients already and, you know, the economy of Japan is not on the peak right now, but uh, they need to save money uh, because they their priority is their people, you know. On the other hand, it's quite a burden to some tourists because this would really hurt their pockets. Or your pockets maybe now instead of thinking of transport fees food accommodation expenses and now you need to think of the travel insurance now right now i don't have any idea how much it would cost but this is just a heads up you know despite these things japan is still top of the list of post corona travel destination you might think that i'm contradicting to most of these rules or their rules in this test tourism but i came to realize that japan really thinks of both sides the left and the right <laughs> but it may be viewed as a game of politics it's the election in japan this july is near the government wants to please the people who are in favor of tourism and they also want to please the people who are afraid of tourists who might carry new variants and can cause another chaos of COVID cases. This is similar to the push and pull of support from their for their prime minister's stance on the Ukraine-Russia war. They basically want to give everyone a piece of pizza, no, a slice of pizza. Now let's answer some of the questions from the video. First one is where to see the package tours that you're talking about well honestly i am not so sure where to find this japan-based travel insurance uh, this japan-based travel agencies but i did a little of online research from the mofa link i'll link them down below now these are the links and you would see that they are the travel agencies that are based in japan but basically i don't know if but uh, there's no harm in trying and uh, you can try and contact them. Yeah, you can just try this one. I'm so sorry, but I don't have the answers as of this moment. Well, there you have it. This is a quick video. You know, even if this video helped you, leave us a thumbs up. 
or subscribe if you want you know for more videos and Japan updates like this and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Matane. Goodbye.